Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Harling. This week, I am going to try something new. I am gonna be showing you math videos on YouTube. It just makes it a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing instead of holding the paper up into the camera as we're working with our math. So now that we're gonna be going into the math, Go Math Workbook, I'm going to be showing videos on YouTube and your job is to go on YouTube, do the lesson with me, and then when we meet for Microsoft Teams, we will discuss what we did today in math on the YouTube video. So today, boys and girls, we are going to be doing lesson 1.2. You can see that with the little girl with her um, pink, um, a helmet on with the baseball bat and at the top it says lesson two at the bottom it will say chapter one and we are on page 11 now remember what I said I will skip around I'm not going to be doing every single page in the workbook okay so again we are doing chapter one page 11 and on the front, you will see lesson 1.2. You'll see a little girl with a pink helmet on holding a baseball bat. So before I begin, I wanna go over the learning target. So take a look, please, here. I know that you saw this last year in second grade if you were at Martin Road. Here is our learning target. Today, I can round two and three digit numbers to the nearest 10 or hundred that is what we're going to do today so when we're talking about rounding numbers we have to remind ourselves about what that means we know when we're rounding to the nearest 10 that's a two digit number when we're rounding to the nearest hundred that's a three digit number but what does the word round mean well if you look at my next sticky note here are some rules for rounding if a number ends in four or less, let it rest. So if you have a number that ends in a four, a three, a two, or a one, you should let the number rest. You're not gonna round it up, you're not gonna round it down. If you have a number that ends in five or more, you raise the score. So any number that ends in a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you have to round to the next place value. We will talk about that in a few minutes. Rounding is a review. Rounding is something that I know you did last year in second grade, probably before the shutdown. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on rounding, but, I am gonna go over it with you today. So chapter one, again, is about odd and even numbers. It's about adding and some subtraction. And it's also about rounding. So we've been learning a lot about place value, so we can now move on to this. So at the top, it says round to the nearest 10 or 100. Again, that's part of the learning target. How can you round numbers? You're either gonna to round to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100. It says, when you round a number, you find a number that tells you about how much or about how many. Mia's baseball bat is 32 inches long. What is its length rounded to the nearest 10 inches? So here's our two digit number, 32, and the question is, what is its length rounded to the nearest 10? So with your pencil, please underline, we are trying to find what this number is in to the nearest 10. Here's one example or one way that you can find out. It says one way, use a number line to round. Round 32 to the nearest 10. Same thing I underlined. So one way to figure that out is to use this number line. When you look at it, what is it counting by? If you said tens, you are correct. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. The lines in between is the halfway point. So this would be 5, 15, 25, 35 and they showed you where the number 32 would go on this number line 
it's between 30 and 40. Now again, remember the rounding rules. If a number ends, and I'll put it up here again so we don't forget. If a number ends in four or less, let it rest. So if it ends in a four, three, two, or one, we don't round up. If the number ends in five or more, raise the score. So if it ends in a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round up. 32 ends in the number what, everybody? Two. So now we know that is a low number, so we don't round up. And if you look at it on the number line, it is definitely closer to 30. So now let's fill in the blanks. Find which tens the number is between. Well, we can see that on the number line. So 32 is between 30 and 40, please write. Now, while I'm doing these videos, boys and girls, please pause if I'm going too fast and then you can play it again when you're ready. So always remember, you can pause the video if you need to, if you think that Ms. Harling is going too fast. All right, 32 again. What is it closer to? Well, we just talked about that. It's closer to 30 than it is 40. So we're gonna say 32 is closer, excuse me, closer to 30 than it is 40. Round 32 to the nearest 10, so our final answer is 30 because that's what it's closer to. So the length of Mia's bat rounded to the nearest 10 inches is 30 inches. Make sure you are filling that out because when we come together on Microsoft Teams, I'm just going to quickly go through this and see if anybody has any questions. You're supposed to be doing this with me right now. Letter B. Now let's take another number. Round 174 to the nearest 100. So here's the number line that we're going to use to help us. It starts at zero and it counts by 100. The numbers in between would be 50, 150, 250. Here's 174. Look where it's between. Find which hundreds the number is between. 174 is between what, everybody? 100 and 200. So with your pencil, please write 100, 200. 174 is closer to, when I look up here, it's closer to 200 than it is to 100. So 174 rounded to the nearest 100 is 200 because that's the one it's closer to. And I can see that by looking at where it is placed on the number line. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over. And now, boys and girls, we are on page 12. Page 12, the next page. At the top, it says, try this. Round 718 to the nearest 10 and 100. Locate and label 718 on the number line. So now they want us to round it to the nearest 10 and the nearest 100. Remember, that was what part of our learning target was today, to round numbers to the nearest 10 and the nearest 100. So 718, please pick up your pencil. This number line is 700, 710, 720. If I was going to put 718 on the number line, it would be pretty close to 720. So I'll zoom in, just look at this part of the number line. It shouldn't be close to 710. 718 is close to 720. So please mark with a dot, write 718, and make sure it's close to 720. Again, pause the video if I'm going too fast. Now we should be able to fill in the blank. 718 is closer to 720 than it is to 710. So 718 rounds to 
720. Now, that was rounding it to the nearest 10. Letter B, we're rounding to the nearest 100. Same number, 718. Now look at this number line. It starts at 700, then 750 is directly in the middle, and 800 is right at the end. These lines in between are the other numbers. This could be counting by tens. 710, 720, 730, 740, 750. I'm counting by tens. 760, 770, 780, 790, 800. So now I gotta put 718 somewhere, and let me just zoom in a little bit, on this number line. Well, if this is 710, and I'm just gonna put that in there so you guys can see. If this is 710, and this one is 720, 718 would be right before 720, just like when we did it over here. So zooming in, there's 720, this line. This line is 710. 718 is going right before the 720 line. So please mark it with your pencil. Now I can fill in the information. 718 is closer to 720. Or I'm sorry, we're not counting by, we're gonna say what it's closer to based on the numbers that are on the number line. What's it closer to, 700 or 750? 718 is closer to 700 because now we're rounding to the nearest 100. It's closer to 700 than it is to, we'll say 800 because we're rounding to the nearest 100. I gotta remember, that's what they're telling us. So this number, 718, is closer to 700 than it is 800, so write 800. So 718, if I'm rounding it to the nearest 100, is closer to 700. So over here, we rounded it to the nearest 10, it was closer to 720. Over here, we rounded it to the nearest 100, so it's closer to 700. Now, a number line was one way they showed you. Here is another way they're showing you. It says you can use place value. It says round 63 to the nearest 10. Think, the digit in the ones place tells if the number is closer to 60 or 70. So it's 63. So if we're looking at the number three and we're comparing it, is three greater than, less than, or equal to five? It is less than five. So remember our rule, four or less, let it rest. So 63 is a low number because the three is a low number. So. The tens digit stays the same. Write the six as the tens digit. Write zero as the ones digit. So 63 is rounded to the nearest 10 is 60. They told us what to do. They said leave six because you're not looking at the six. We looked at the three, three is low, so we round it to 60. 63 is closer to 60. All right, letter B, 457 to the nearest Hundred. Now, this is a three-digit number, but the number you look at to help you is the tens place. That's why this blue arrow is pointing to the five. So think, it says think. The digit in the tens place tells if the number is closer to 400 or 500. So we're looking at the number five. Five is equal. But so what do we know? So the hundreds digit increased by one. Remember the rule. Five or more raise the score. So we're rounding it to the nearest hundred. So we have to change this four. So the hundreds digit increases by one. Write five as the hundreds digit. Write zeros as the tens and the ones. So 457 rounded to the nearest hundred is five hundred. It's closer to 500. Now, they're giving you the rules over here. It says in order to round, you have to find the place value to which you want to round. You look at the digit to the right. If the digit is less than five, the digit in the rounding place stays the same. 
if the digit is five or greater, the digit in the rounding place increases by one. Write zeros for the digits to the right of the rounding place, and that's what we did. 63 rounded to 60. 457, because five is a high number, this four has to change to 500, so it's closer to 500. All right, I'm gonna stop there because I really only want my videos to be a, at least 15 minutes long, so that's where I am now. We did page 11 and page 12. Make sure that you have them ready for me to discuss with you when we meet online. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.